please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. We're here today at the Smart Energy Expo with Brad, the manager of innovation of essential energy. Now, something that viewers are very interested in Australia, Brad, is vehicle to grid and vehicle to home. What has Essential Energy been doing to test that and get it ready for Australian homes and businesses? Yeah, we're really excited. We've just announced at the Smart Energy Conference here yesterday that we are enabling vehicle to grid on our network no, with a, just a charging solution and vehicle. Uh, we hope to expand that Yeah, and people might have heard about that test. Just because that was one brand of car and one brand of, of hardware doesn't mean it Essential Network only works with those in the future. They're testing lots of brands of V2G and V2H hardware and lots of cars. Um, do most of the cars work out of the box with V2G? Of the ones we've tested, Murphy, certainly a large portion of them will drive directly out of the box. And okay. some require some procedural bikes. Okay, so they might, some electric cars might require software updates from the manufacturer. Now, viewers know, some manufacturers do software updates quite often and easily over the air, and other ones do them not very often or not at all, and you might have to go to a dealer. That depends on your brand of electric car. And we'll find out more about the list of cars that have been tested by other industry groups. I believe Red Earth might have tested some. Yeah, Red Earth. Yeah, in their development have tested some, uh, some vehicles as well. Uh, as of we. Yeah. Um, and what about vehicle to home? Because people are a bit confused about the difference between vehicle to grid, where your electric car's exporting from its battery straight to the rest of the world via the electricity grid, and vehicle to home, where it's just connected to your house and supplying house in the future? Yeah, it's an excellent question. The technology stack's the same. Okay. So I want you to enable to that you have vehicle to hire. Can you use either as you wish? What if you don't want to export to the world? Correct. So in your software settings, you tell them you're vehicle to load for load. And yeah. that's vehicle to hire. Okay, cool. What is essential energy, Brad? Ricky. Well, uh, electricity distributor in regional New South Wales, we cover 95% of New South Wales. For those that are familiar with the distributor, we own the poles and wires that will provide electricity to your house. Okay, cool. Will speed to g and vehicle to home, well, specifically v to g is there any chance that the output level might be capped to the grid? Uh, just like solar exports are sometimes capped at the moment because yeah. there's not enough capacity to handle in a particular region of the country? Uh, yes, that's correct. So in order to protect the network, and provide everybody access, that there is always going to be inevitably a cap on the amount of heat and you can fix on your premise. Uh, for most electricity distributed authorities in Australia, I mean, we call dynamic connection agreements, which allows that excellent limit to vary over time throughout the day. Yep. From what the new can accommodate. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for your time, Brad. Good luck with the testing. Pleasure. And in, in your opinion, uh, without mentioning any particular car brands, does it degrade the battery a lot to do vehicle to grid or home compared to actually driving it or towing? That, that again is a really, really good question. Our testing so far has suggested that vehicle to grid or vehicle to hire does not significantly degrade the battery. Okay. In fact, the worst thing you can do is drive your vehicle because okay. your acceleration uh, Use a lot of energy on the battery. Yeah. And vehicle to home and vehicle to grid. It's quite a slow ramp up to a steady start. Yeah. No, that's a good point. It's a, it's a steady draw rather than going up and down hills or stop start acceleration, if you like, uh, uh, pacing the ute next to you at a red light and show them how fast your electric car is. So do it to the speed limit. But yeah, that's going to stress your car a lot more than V to G or V to N. But what about the amount of power? Like how much power? What if someone has ducted the air conditioning and they're cooking and they're doing a bunch of other stuff? Could their car not put enough to cover all of that? Yeah, it's a really good question. Uh, in our testing at our lab facility, we've exported vehicles up to 25 kilowatts. Okay. Uh, and quite happily so. So, for example, we've had recent huge cyclones in East in Australia, and I've heard that a lot of people used vehicle to load, which is 2.4 to 3.6 kilowatts 
with some vehicles such as BYD, MG, Kia, there's a few others. Uh, but that's a bit of a homemade solution and not really recommended for long-term or regular use to power household. That's really meant vehicle to load for more like powering an induction cooktop while you're at a picnic, as an example. Uh, whereas vehicle to grid and vehicle to home, which Brad and his team have been testing, uh, proper industrially tested solid solutions where you can use connected to your car and your house or your small business every day if you wanted to. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's certainly a much higher discharge rate than your standard vehicle load, which is about the three kilowatt mark. Yeah. Uh, so you certainly will have more than enough capacity to, to manage your loads in your home and export the grid design. Now, yeah, from the point of view of being an electricity distributor, you don't actually bill people like me directly. That's an electricity retailer. What's in it for essential energy to enable these technologies? Yeah. Like be for the grid and be for the line. Excellent question. Uh, unless, I guess for essential energy, we provide the transport uh, So what's in it for essential energy? We're not gaining any revenue from this. This is about making sure our customers extract the maximum amount of value of sure. their already existing investment in our infrastructure. Yeah. So New South Wales taxpayers have paid for, because it's essential energy is owned 100% by the New South Wales Correct. government, yeah, yeah, all the us. poles and wires and infrastructure that essential users, I guess what Vehicle to Grid and Vehicle to Home do, does is Instead of traditionally where the power comes from Brad's infrastructure through a retailer into my house, vehicle to grid and vehicle to home mean that infrastructure can be used in the other direction as well. So more efficient use of existing resources. Right, and it's a much lower loss outcome. So centralized generation, yes, you've got to take it from the coal fired power station or the power station, yeah. via transmission Hopefully lines. Hopefully solar and renewable yeah. more in the future. Via transmission lines down to the network that we we approach the distribution network down to your low voltage. There's a lot of losses incurred there. Yeah. If you can move your generation source much closer to your load, there's lower losses, better energy efficiency outcomes. Okay. Uh, are there any other questions that people in your part of regional New South Wales have about this? What do you think it'll be useful for along the time? Oh, we think that there's a lot of opportunity for our outcasts to connect to our network to uh, participate in the market. So the market oh, that's a good point. To yeah. obtain revenue from the other group, yeah. uh, to lower their own home consumption, the stability in their vehicle at home outcome, okay. and also, as you mentioned before, the resilience outcome. So, we all know that there's more extraneous events occurring on the network. Yep. Um, yeah. yeah, and these sort of technologies allow us to provide a better, resilient network. Okay. So, the, the opportunities are broad and varied, and they're just yeah. a few that we think are important. We've got a much longer list that we think that will happen. Time. Okay. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.